Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Old Testament and New Testament handbooks from Holman Bibles. Okay, I'm excited about this one. It's not a Bible review, but it's a, a Bible resource review. These come from my friends at Holman Bibles, who are the publishers of the Christian Standard Bible. Last fall, they released the Old Testament handbook, and very recently they released the New Testament handbook. And these are really cool companion resources for Bible study, devotional use. If you're, if you're teaching a Bible study or a class, if you're just reading the Bible and want to dig a little bit deeper, these things are chock full of really great resources. There are four of them, two New Testament, two Old Testament. These two are identical on the inside. These two are identical on the inside, but they give you a couple of different color options here. They just turned out really great. They're full of great information. I've shared them a little bit on my Instagram and Facebook page and in my YouTube shorts, but I've not done a proper review, and I wanted to do that because I just think they turned out great and they're very helpful. Here, here's, here's what you need to know. My mom, Donna, a lifelong Bible study warrior, she knows the Bible like the back of her hand, she ordered these after seeing one of my YouTube shorts and was like, I got to check those out. Those look very, very cool. So I'm going to do a full review, do an overhead, show you how they work. Stick around to the end of the video because I'm also doing a special giveaway with one of these, one each of these as a set to one person. You can find out how to enter at the end of the video. Okay, Old Testament handbook on the left. This is the charcoal colorway. This is the New Testament handbook on the right. This is the stone colorway. And then you also have the Old Testament, and this is called Sand, and then Sage for the green one. Which one of those do you like best? I would kind of put these two, the gray colorways together, and then the sand and the green. But you could also do those two. Or the, they, they all look good together. You can kind of do it whichever way you want. I think they look nice. Okay, so I'm going to push these out of here and just kind of focus. They're, all, they're the same on the inside, so let's focus on the Old Testament first. So as far as the size goes, eight and a half by 10 and a half. So like think eight and a half by 11 sh sheet of paper. I guess for those of you who are in the US, you kind of are familiar with that. And they're only about an inch thick. The old, there it says Old Testament handbook on the spine, CSB, Holman. Look at that nice like textured woven pattern. That is really, really lovely. On the back, it's got a little card that gives you a bunch of the features and things like that. I counted up 248 pages in the Old Testament, 200 pages in the New Testament, so you're getting a lot of good content. Um, there is a ribbon marker in these, so this one comes with like red or orange accents. This one has kind of bluish accents, so it has a blue ribbon on the New Testament one, so they kind of match things up like that. Let's see, the green comes with, the sage comes with like a light green and more of a greenish yellow ribbon, and then the sand comes with a light blue. I like that, that they matched the ribbons to the end sheets pretty well. That is nice. These are very well designed. The, like the, the graphic design of these books is really fantastic. Okay, so opening up the Old Testament edition, here we have Old Testament handbook, contents, copyright information. There you see it has the little information about charcoal uh, and sand overboard. It's got a Dewey Decimal number. That's exciting. Table of contents. Every book of the Old Testament. Here's a letter from the Bible publisher at Holman, Andy. What's up, Andy? Andy's office at Lifeway is right down the street from my favorite place to get chicken tenders. And I've eaten there a couple times. And, and, and Andy's a good guy to, to go hang out and have chicken tenders with. What's up, Jeff? I'll give a shout out to Jeff as well and everybody at the Bibles team. So a letter from Andy, an introduction to the Old Testament. So this is like, this is getting in. Like before, if you were going to do a read the Bible in a year plan, Grab this, open up here, and read Introduction, the Composition and Canon of the Old Testament. If you're not familiar with canon, that's like, how do these books become the books of the Bible that we are going to see as authoritative, right? How did they, how did they get put together like that? So you have a whole thing in here, God's Spirit guiding the process. I love that. It kind of talks about the inspiration of Scripture, the different phases of it. So you get a nice little, sorry, the camera's not wanting to focus on these. And then you get into book. Look at that beautiful opening page of Genesis. So well designed. Each book of the Bible is going to have this. So introduction, author, background, message and purpose, a summary, and then the structure. So incredibly helpful. 
when you're reading, then you get that outline right there. So an outline of the entire book of Genesis, word study. So these are going to be Hebrew words. There you go. Hebrew words, the CSB translation of it, how many times it's used in Genesis, how many times it's used in the Old Testament, a focus passage, and then a definition and an explanation of key words from the text. Then you have a timeline from Genesis. Then you have creation day by day. Very interesting to see that. The covenants, directives to Adam. Noah, I'm just going to go through Genesis in the Old Testament so you can see it. Noah and Jesus. So they're making parallels in the Old Testament to Jesus, salvation through judgment, a theme that's obviously going to run through the entire Bible. The, the map, I love Bible maps. If you watch my videos, you know. So this is the journey that Abraham took. Look at that, showing us where he went. Birthright and blessing, we're talking about obviously uh, Jacob and Esau and Isaac. Here's Abraham's family tree. This is the kind of thing, y'all, that I love because I'm reading through Genesis and I'm reading and there's just all of these names. You get to the 12 tribes of Israel. It's really great to see all of this laid out in front of you. To me, as, as someone who's got definitely like a visual learner inside of me, it's nice to see this stuff and to figure it out. There's dreams in Genesis. So it talks about the significance of dreams. There's Jacob and Joseph and the path to reconciliation. Again, all of this just in Genesis, the promises of Genesis, seeing Jesus I like this seeing Jesus in Genesis. So we're making connections to our Savior in the Old Testament. The Lord will provide the life of Joseph. And then we're getting in to Exodus. And it starts over introduction, word study, outline, all of that stuff straight through every book. Look at that. Beautiful, colorful. This is the kind of thing where if I'm doing a read the Bible in a year plan, I, I want to have this nearby so I can see it. Okay, quick look at the New Testament. We'll do the same thing. Very similar contents. There's our letter from Andy. There's the origin and the canon of the New Testament. That happened slightly differently because it was developing over uh, later in history. So big introduction to the New Testament we get in here. And then we go, look at that beautiful, beautiful Matthew. Same thing. All, I, so I like the consistency of this, right? That it's gonna have the same information no matter what book of the Bible you're looking in, you're going to get that introductory information. You're going to get the word studies. Now we've obviously switched from Aramaic, or sorry, Hebrew, probably a little bit of Aramaic in there, to Greek. So you're getting Greek word studies that are going to be focused. You get that throughout this in different books. The outline. Here's a timeline from Abraham to Jesus. Did you know that the genealogy in Matthew goes back to Abraham? Because the story of Matthew is really seeing Jesus as the new Moses and the fulfillment of the story of Israel, whereas the, the um, genealogy in Luke goes all the way back to Adam, kind of purposely showing that Jesus was the savior of all mankind, going all the way back. So it's kind of just a different perspective that Matthew and Luke are taking. We get Herod's family tree. We get all of the discourses from Jesus in Matthew, a very important thing to know about his different teaching narratives, a little chart with all of the miracles in Matthew. Again, such a great thing to be able to see all of that stuff listed out together in one place. Jewish sex in the New Testament. So have you ever wondered what the difference was between the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the Zealots, the Herodians? Here you have a chart that kind of talks about it. You know how the easiest way to tell, there you go, Sadducee. The easiest way to tell the difference between a Sadducee and the Pharisee, or how you know that they're a Sadducee, it's because they're sad. You see? Sorry, that was a really bad joke. That was a really bad pastor joke. I apologize. Okay. Uh <laughs> Okay, then we have a page about the disciples, the prophecies fulfilled by Jesus in Matthew. Clearly, Matthew had a connection to the Old Testament. Hearing the Old Testament in the New, this is going to pop up a lot. So we can see um, when the, the CSB translation does a good job because they give us bolded type in the New Testament whenever they're quoting from the Old Testament. But this lets you see it in a different way. Christ as prophet. Jesus is God. Again, hearing more of the Old Testament in the New, Christ as King. This is so, so much stuff. Jesus is suffering. Parables. Have you ever wondered how many parables are talking about the kingdom of God in the Gospel of Matthew? Here you have an entire chart. Then you get into Mark, and again, it goes straight through this, straight through the New Testament. Charts, graphs, maps, connections to the Old Testament. Really beautiful imagery, beautifully designed. I, I don't know how long it took the team at Holman to create these books, but they are beautifully designed. They look great. They feel great. We have two different 
New Testament editions, the sage, and I think they called it the stone. No, it was the stone or sand. Sage and stone. And then we have charcoal for the Old Testament and sand for the Old Testament. For These are just, these are absolutely incredible. So there you have it, the Old Testament and New Testament handbooks from Holman Bibles. Those are cool, right? I think if you want to dig a little bit deeper in your time of reading and studying the Bible, these would be an awesome option. And yes, they're going to look pretty good on your coffee table as well because they are beautifully designed. I'm going to put links in the video description to where you can purchase these. But before you go and do that, if you have Instagram, would you like to enter a giveaway? Because I'm doing an Instagram exclusive giveaway for a set, one Old Testament and one New Testament handbook going to one lucky winner. Visit instagram.com slash Tim Wildsmith. Look for the post that says giveaway and has a picture of these. Follow the instructions and you will be entered to win. As always, if you have questions or thoughts, please share those with me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button and subscribe to the channel. This was a lot of fun. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.